Becky Heath here with Maricop Consulting Group. In the work I do with leadership teams helping to increase accountability in the organization, one of the things I see is that strong leadership and strong management produce accountability. And so with that, uh, we've been doing this series on accountability. Today's the last day of the series. And the way we've been wrapping it up is me sharing the top 10 reasons I see the lack of the level of accountability that managers and leaders want within their organization. And so just a quick refresh and what we found, we said number 10 is I'm not providing the tools, resources, and training that my employees need to do their job successfully. At number nine, we said, Maybe there's an internal desire to be liked, you wanna be their friend, or maybe you think it's mean to hold them accountable. Number eight, we said, maybe I've not documented the process, shared it with my employees, so there's no way that it could be followed by everybody if they don't know what they're supposed to be doing. Number seven, we said, maybe there's a right people, right seat issue, meaning they don't share your core values, they don't have the skill set to do the job that you hired them for. At number six, we said, I'm not accountable, so from an integrity standpoint, how can I stand in front of my employees and try to hold them accountable? And that's a separate issue that needs to be addressed. Number five, we said, I forgot. There's too many things coming at me day in, day out, and we found that if you do have the right meeting pulse with the agenda, including the accountability numbers, it becomes a common pulse that you're looking at those numbers consistently to be able to have those difficult conversations when necessary. Number four, last week we said, I don't have time. And frankly, we asked that question is, can you afford not to have time for your team to be accountable, whether from a sales or operations or finance standpoint, if you want to take your business to that next level? So again, a meeting pulse, the right rhythm built into your schedule can guarantee that you actually do build in that time that's necessary to be looking at those essential numbers. Uh, number three, we said, I'm not sure, frankly, how to do it. And so that's, again, one of those things that I, I bring leadership teams on the journey of is ensuring that you've got those clear expectations defined, you've got the right numbers that define what success look like, and you've got the right rhythm for a conversation through that meeting pulse to ensure that you're looking at those numbers. And so wrapping it up here, we're coming down to the home stretch. Number two is the expectations are unclear. So it may be crystal clear in your head, but if you've not clearly defined them, and listen to ensure that your employee has them on the same page, you're both, they're clearly understanding what you've said, there's gonna be a lack of accountability because they may be doing what they think you're saying, but it doesn't match what's going on within your head. So documenting those clear expectations are absolutely essential. And then lastly, this one I see most common is conflict avoidance. Very few people love having difficult conversations, but it does take the 20 minutes or 20 seconds of courage to really rise up and realize you're doing this for the greater good of the organization, you're doing it for the greater good of the employee, is having those conversations when expectations aren't being met to ensure that you're raising what's acceptable as far as the accountability goes within your organization. And I've heard it time and time again, those high producers that are going to be accountable regardless of whether you're watching or not, if they see that you're not holding their team members accountable, frankly, they'll only put up with it for so often, so long. If that's not happening, they don't wanna be in a low accountability environment and they may very likely leave to go to your, your competitor. So use that really internal courage, have that difficult conversation. It's absolutely in, uh, in, instrumental in you getting your company to where you need it to be. So again, my hope has been that these conversations have been insightful and maybe even uncovered some areas that you can take action in order to increase the level of accountability in your organization. And if any of these things resonated with you, if you wanna have a further conversation about accountability, please reach out. My contact information is in the post. And as always, please follow me on LinkedIn or and or YouTube at Gain Traction with Becky. Thank you for your time today.